In this video, I'm going to show you how you could use a, a character you created in Blender. So I'm going to go and get uh, this character. I'm going to upload it to Mixamo. And we're going to add a second character, basically. And I'll show you a little bit the workflow with that. So you want to upload this. It'll take a minute. So I'll just pause the video. Here's the character that's been imported. I created it in Blender. So what we're going to do is, there's other software that you can use that's better for this, but we've been using Mixamo now, and I'm going to just keep working with this workflow. There's advantages and disadvantages to both. I find that for beginner students, this is still simpler. Now, probably you might want to not, rec you know, have them use just the Mixamo characters. It is simpler, but this is pretty cool because they can bring in a character that they made in uh, Blender. Or, or Maya or whatever you're using um, and rig it basically in a really quick and fairly accurate you know it's not the triple a title accurate but uh, you know you're working in a high school class it's not necessary you're really trying to just teach them what rigging is which is basically the skeleton that you're building so now it looks like it works so it looks great I'm gonna click next and you know what we want to do is the same thing we did in the last video. We want to download the T pose first. So I'm going to go, this is the one that we're bringing into, and we might want to rename this. Well, and you see it didn't say rig. So I'm going to go over here and I am going to type rigged so that this doesn't confuse anybody. Maybe it's pretty obvious, but I'll just type rigged. All right, so good enough. So now I'm going to go to my project and I'm going to go to, we have Mixamo 1. I'm going to call this Mixamo 2 or whatever name you want to do. Just make sure it's clear. And I'm going to give this one the same color. So this is the same kind of thing. Right click. I'm going to import the character and I want the rigged one, of course. And the skeleton hasn't been brought in yet. Reset this just in case. Import all. So here's the character, and I'll flip him around. And he might, he looks pretty good. We're going to leave him that way. So now what you want to do is maybe make a folder for the materials. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to make a folder right now for animations. What you need to realize is F2 here, animations. If you brought in a walking animation with your other character, it won't work with this character. So you have to re go to Mixamo and let's pretend I wanted the walk and all the others that you might want you want to use and click on animation. So let's pretend I want this stealth walk or something. One thing I want you to do here is just in place check to see if there's clipping with your character. So use the middle mouse button and you know so it looks good. So this is a walk. So like I said, we're now we're going to be using it this way. So what you're going to do is you're going to download it without skin. Okay, that's really important. And now this one, this one is brought in. I'll just show you what you have to do. So you basically go to your Epic project. We're going to go here under animations. We're going to go import and crouch walking. So make sure you use the new skeleton and low poly rigged is the name of that skeleton so that's really important and let's import all and you know i'm going to delete this for now i don't need them i was just checking to make sure it looks okay uh drag him in and press alt s to make sure it works yeah it works so we're good to go and now we can create a sequence with this character and so on and as usual, you don't want that the walking animation in here. You want this one. May, you can decide to make it visible or not visible if you have more than one character, like I showed you. And uh, you know, if you need more animations, just go to Mixable and download them one at a time, or like I showed you with a gesture pack and drag them in. And uh, that is very useful for you to know. So if you have any other questions, please let me know.